I just had the fastest run of my life. And it's not because I was training so hard recently. It's not because I was super motivated today. It's because I got locked out of my apartment. I will tell you the story now. So what happened this morning was I wanted to go for a run. I took my headphones, I took my key and I took my phone. Usually when I go for a run, I take a second key from the flat that doesn't have a key ring so that it's smaller and it fits into the running pocket for the phone. I open the door, I exit and then I realize that actually it's already a bit later. Maybe I should walk my dog first. I come back and I try to open my apartment, the key won't go in. Then I realize that the second key, the one that I normally use, is inside the lock on the other side. So I just close the door with the key inside and I can't open it anymore because my key doesn't fit into the lock. And then I'm like, what should I do now? That's really annoying. I don't have anything with me except for my phone. I never locked myself out of the apartment actually. And I know that in Austria, it costs a lot to call the locksmith I tried a few things. I googled how to open the door if it's closed with the key inside, but there was no solution that I could find. Sometimes they say you can use like a credit card to open the door. I even did it once together with my friends when they locked themselves out and it actually worked with a credit card, but I didn't have anything. I called the locksmith. I was already prepared that now it will cost me a fortune. He tells me that he'll be there in 30 minutes. I'm a bit desperate and I'm like, how can you be so stupid? I just cannot deal with myself anymore. Okay, instead of waiting in front of the door for 30 minutes, I might as well go for that run. I calculated I can run around 5K in half an hour just to calm myself down and not to sit in front of the door. I went for a run. 15 minutes later, when I'm halfway into the run, two and a half kilometers away from my house, the locksmith calls me and says that he's actually there already. And I'm like, you said 30 minutes. Okay, I'm very sorry, but you'll need to wait. I run back as fast as I can. The good thing is there is this mandatory apartment insurance that everyone has to have in Austria. Apparently, if you lock yourself out once a year, they will pay for it. In the end, it turned out well. <laughs> the guy told me, hopefully we don't see each other again in the next year. But after that, you can call me again. The insurance will pay it. That's the fun I'm going through, you know? you think your life is boring, maybe it should stay like this. I'm going to edit the vlog from last Saturday. This is what I'm up to today, so let's go. This is my obsession. Orbit refreshers. Most important thing is the house key. This is what contributed to my cortisol rising this morning. <laughs> there are other coffee shops in town except for Starbucks but today's choice is solely based on the strength of their air conditioning Hello! Hi! Can we have an iced cappuccino with oat milk? Yeah. Medium size? Medium size and um, sugar free hazelnut syrup Your name? Xenia My life has this black hole in the time span. This is the time between me having like three hours until I need to leave. So much time, I don't know even what to do with all of this time until I'm like five minutes late, ten minutes late, and I have to run. I text everyone that I will be five minutes late. And I'm always planning to go out before I have to rush. And I'm happy, always five minutes late. Here, shoes. Shoes I will wear. Don't need to pack them. Just need to take them out of my gym bag. Water. 
hydration is important. You know what I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to get into the car and set the air conditioning to maximum so that I'm like in a fridge. We need to change, 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 change. White with white, no, maybe this, okay. And one crucial thing, I will tell you what is the crucial thing when you play tennis outside. This, not quite a tennis outfit. This is what we have, plus the ridiculous hat, which I will probably have to wear because it's sauna outside. I think I can already be considered a professional tennis player. The tennis socks. Nice and hot, just how I like it. Tennis or pizza? Shall we go in? Yeah. So, hey, it's me. Hello. Hi. You can Why start. Why aren't you wearing a cap? How many people already had a sunstroke today? How many people? Nobody. How Nobody. many were taken to the hospital? I don't know how you guys can do without cap today. I mean, it's absolutely <laughs> crazy. No cap. Okay, you can grab yeah. the two rackets and you can start your downs and ups. Probably were French the whole week there <laughs> at home. <laughs> Already bought rackets. You know, it's very possible with me. Actually, something quite realistic that I could do. Survived. It wasn't actually too bad. It was a bit hot and a sweaty mess. But because we are just beginners, we are mostly just hitting from one spot, not really running around. That helps. Now I really want to eat something because all I had today was a yogurt and a coffee. When it's hot, I cannot eat when it's hot. But as soon as I enter an air-conditioned space or a cooler space, I get ravenous. I have to eat ex in exact same minute. The question is, shower or food first? I'm extremely sweaty and extremely hungry. I need to decide now. Lunch slash dinner slash brunch, not sure what it is anymore. Bread with goat cheese and kimchi. Oh, look who came when I said kimchi. And a bit of salad, napa cabbage and tomato. I wanted to have two eggs, but there was only one and I don't know what else to eat. I'll eat this and maybe I'll have something else. This is what heat is doing to the best of us. I just now reached the climax of my own stupidity. I went to the supermarket over two hours ago and because I like to be productive and batch things together, I thought I would also take my dog for a walk. We leave the house together, go for a walk. I then tie her up next to the entrance to the grocery store. I enter the grocery store, I grab the things that I need and then I go home because I just forgot that I came to the grocery store with the dog. So my dog sees me leaving the store, going home without her and stays there tied up for another two hours until someone reported a dog being tied up at the supermarket without an owner. So I received a call from an unknown number. It was police and they asked me if I own a dog. I was a bit wondering what is the purpose of this question, but I said, yes, I own a dog. And then they asked me where my dog currently is. I tell them that she's at home with me. And at that moment, I realized that in fact, she's not at home with me. And I haven't seen her for exactly two and a half hours because she stayed tied up at the grocery store. Uh, I cannot believe that this actually happened. They will bring her to me now and I will have to think of the ways of how I can make it up to her. Who stayed at the supermarket? Mommy left me at the supermarket. 